So once again, we're going to return to our discussion of the flight listing app or flap case study. And we've been through this before. So I'm going to skip over all the stuff that we've covered earlier, other than just to quickly give you a recap of what we had covered. And then we'll start the discussion of the next way of doing flap. So if you recall, going back to one of the first weeks in the course, I had described a monolithic implementation that is a kind of a classic client server architecture. It's implemented using Spring in order to sequentially list airline flights using good old objects in an object-oriented programming way. And these objects all reside within one process. And you could find the source code for the flights monolithic version of all this stuff at the link at the bottom of the slide. And this would typically be the way you do it kind of historically. And if you wanted to get scalability, you'd some kind of use some kind of a load balancer on the front end to have the clients sending the requests to different instances of monolithic apps running in their own process. Each app would run in its own process. So that's kind of the, the old school way of doing things. Of course, people still do it that way, but uh, given all the stuff we've talked about henceforth, that's kind of the baseline that we're going to diverge from and improve against. The next approach that we used was a functional implementation of FLAP that used synchronous two-way calls that were based on Spring, Web MVC, and modern Java functional parallel programming frameworks, in particular parallel streams. And that approach also broke up the services so that everything was no longer running in one process as a bunch of co-located objects but instead it was running as a bunch of microservices. And those microservices were communicating with one another by using synchronous two-way method invocations from the client point of view and from the various microservices point of view and the app gateway point of view and so on. And modern Java functional parallel programming was used in order to actually carry out the operations. So that's what we looked at again a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a good step forward, obviously, but not the creme de la creme of where we're headed. So where we're going now is to look at a reactive implementation of FLAP. And this version uses asynchronous two-way calls, and it uses various Java reactive streams frameworks that support various concurrency models. And so we've got, uh, we can have Project Reactor, which is the way that we do the stuff with web fluxes. We could also use Rx Java. If we're doing client programming with Android, then we would end up using the Rx Java stuff on the client side, on the Android side. And then all the microservices we're going to implement are going to be using web flux in order to get a reactive microservices based approach on the back end. And uh, this approach is, is, of course, very powerful. And we'll talk about where you can get the source code for all of this stuff as well. So the source code for the reactive microservices implementation of FLAP is here at this link. It's at gitlab.com slash creaser, C-R-E-A-S-O-R with a capital C, slash flights dash reactive dash microservices. And you can see that uh, you can go and clone that if you want to. I've made some recent updates to it. So it's got all the implementation features we're going to look at as we do the code walkthrough. So this is where you can go to actually find that implementation. You can also find the functional microservices implementation at this link. So this is flights-microservices at gitlab.com slash creaser. So these are where you can find all the source code. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the reactive microservices version, but it's interesting to compare and contrast the reactive version versus the functional version because they're actually quite a bit different and they end up using very different technologies to do the, the communications and to do the parallel processing and so on. So we'll take a look at all those here momentarily.